And it's probably one of the more gruesome deaths of all, which again, I go back to, I'm like, she didn't deserve it. <laughs> Olivia died a very sad death in my opinion because I can't figure out why she deserved it in the first place, honestly. I feel like she was a sweet girl. She needed some humbling maybe in there, but you know, she didn't deserve death. She was next door to Jill and Kirby. Jill and Kirby were watching Shaun of the Dead together. They gave me a call, invited me to come up. There was no way I was coming up. I didn't want to have anything to do with Jill considering her cousin in that whole situation. So Trevor then calls Jill. Jill gets a phone call. It says it's from Trevor, but it's not really Trevor. So it's this ghost face voice. And of course, of course, Kirby, who answers the phone for her, doesn't believe that this is Ghostface. She's kind of playing around until Ghostface says, I know you're watching Shaun of the Dead. And that's when things get really real. That's when the girls know, okay, he knows what we're watching. You know, this is definitely not Trevor at this point. So Kirby is brave, you know, her brave self. And she's like wanting to figure out who this is and show yourself to me. And ultimately Ghostface says, I'm in the closet. So Kirby walks up to the closet and bravely opens it. Ghostface is not there to which he says, I'm not in your closet. And that's when next door you see Olivia Morris just get totally taken down by Ghostface. She puts up a pretty good fight though, I'm not gonna lie. Like she gets stabbed in the hand and thrown around and all of that, but she ultimately gets uh, stabbed in the stomach several times and is completely gutted. And it's probably one of the more gruesome deaths of all, which again, I go back to, I'm like, she didn't deserve it, but hey, that's what happens, you know? <laughs> We think she would have become a psychologist based on all of the traumas that she's gone through in her life. You know, I feel like people, they, they go through to do that self-healing journey and ultimately then end up helping others. In her ways of trying to make sense of Jill's logic for killing all her friends and family because her boyfriend cheated on her, I think she probably would have become a psychologist. <laughs> made by Trader Joe's. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's a specific type of granola and they're these little circles and they have cranberries in them and then these little pellets of random things and I still eat them today. That's where my journey with those began and pretty much everybody close in my life knows that those are like a staple piece for me. <laughs>